And then, if you choose as a partner a company like Magma, that is set up only in 2008, and who has a very opaque structure for their shareholders, because 45.38% of their shareholders are held in a foundation called Sitka in tax havens, so you will never know who they are. And then I see from their own net website that they have institutional shareholders, but I don't tell who they are for 34.58%. And when you see who their board members are, I, I wonder who are these institutional shareholders that are not represented, because each and every board member is a salary or somebody linked to Mr. Ross, Ross Beatty. Employees of him. Employees of him, yes. So this is one strange thing. And then the price. You are giving away for nothing for free your natural resources to a man who has not proven anything. I mean, he's at the risk company in 2008. And in 2008, they had losses. They are producing a very little something in Nevada. Nothing compared to what you are doing here. He has nothing to show up for. They are not very well capitalized, and you will need capitals to build up these plants. Where shall they come from? From loans. And they are not even able to pay for their acquisition, because if the figures I read are right, they have bought the whole last participation for 11.5 billion Icelandic kroner, but only 3.6 was paid in cash. And it was not paid in dollars, but it was paid in Icelandic kroner. And 8.4 billion is paid in bonds. Bonds from a company that has no existence really yet. What kind of guarantee is that? And I think that uh, this, they are carrying 1.5 interest rate, which is really nothing compared to what your lenders are asking Iceland for. I think in, the, in some deals I've heard something about, like the Iceland deal, you were requested 5.5 uh, interest rate. So, what kind of deal is this? Well, it is the seller who has finance financing the buyer. And it's kind of bullet loan. And I can tell you that I have seen a lot of these bullet loans. And they are coming from Britney. That is the way they did it. These are unbelievably bad business. And it's bad business for you. And I think that this should be looked into. I think, really, time has come for you to resist the privatization of your natural resources for no benefit for you, benefit from unknown persons that has had strong links with all those who has created the mist that you are in. And if I was the state prosecutor in this country, I would start a criminal investigation into how these things work. Thank you. This is too important to leave it to a privatization committee that decided uh, some years ago that this was the way to go and it was unnecessary as to European law. It could be a choice, but today I think it's not a choice anymore because of what we have seen. We have, we have seen that the deregulation, the total liberalism, has given absolutely crazy results for Iceland. And that the deal that is prepared uh, will not give good income to Iceland, it will give income to those 43 
There are some shareholders that are hidden in a tax heaven in clear.